Okay, so let's say you want to download some old files that you have from an old Moodle server and you cannot access uh, the files, the background files area for the course. It's disabled on your Moodle server. There's a couple of different tri tricks that you can try. For this first one, uh, I have a PowerPoint slide deck here. This one, Dr. Young's Synopsis of Media, uh, that I want to download. This should be straightforward. If it's embedded on a page in the course, then you can simply right click and click Save Link As, and you can download this. I'll just put it uh, in my downloads area, and it will actually save the PowerPoint file for you. If I go to my downloads, there it is. That's the uh, the file right there. So now I have access to that PowerPoint slide deck. Okay, well, now let's say that this is not a file that you can simply download uh, by right-clicking on it. You can't find it uh, in particular. Maybe it's not in, currently embedded on one of your pages, but you know it's in this course. Well, there's another workaround that we can try. So I'm just going to go back to the course homepage, and I'm going to click on Turn Editing On. And I'm going to go anywhere on the page that I want, but I'm going to go down to the resources area, which is hidden from students anyway even though this is an old hidden course, I'm going to click on add an activity or resource. And in this case, you can add, uh, you can add a folder. I'm going to add that folder here. I'll give it a name, temp files. And now you can browse around to select what files you want. You can upload files or you can add them from here in the server. So if I right click, it gives me the file picker. I can find, uh, in this case, I know that it was in week 10. So I can search through these folders if I need to, but I'm gonna go to week 10 and I'm gonna add all of these different media files here and add them to this. And I'll add another file here from week 10. I'm gonna add this uh, MP3 file. So I've got two files added to this folder and I can save and display or save and return to the course. So now you have the option to download the folder. If I do this, it will download everything that I put into that folder. Here we go. It's as a zip file in my downloads. I'll extract all of this and find that folder that I just extracted. And here are the media files that I wanted to extract from the course so that I could edit them.